It hurts. It's going back kind of painful. Yes. It's been a while since Loretta Clark has been allowed back in the storage unit she shared with her fiance. Painful because of what happened to John. Massive heart attack. And he died. And he died. She says her future plans included this public storage facility in Phoenix. Everything I had was in the storage. Loretta's pots and pans, beds, personal items were still in the unit. It was John's unit she was listed as user. Per policy, the locks were changed, but Loretta says even though she kept paying the monthly payment and she was John's fiance, she was locked out. I had to give them a death certificate. Despite her attempts, Loretta couldn't get that proof and let me know. Better Business Bureau volunteer Charlotte got the case. Her notes show weeks of calls to public storage to the state records department where John was born. Eventually, Charlotte found a way around the death certificate. What does that mean to you? A whole lot. The company agreed to a funeral home email and a notarized affidavit, bringing us to this day. Loretta and family loaded the belongings and took them away. With a huge thanks to Charlotte and the team. If she was here, I would hug her. <laughs> I would hug her and tell her thanks a whole bunch. It's understandable public storage would have access rules. They didn't return our calls for comment by airtime. We thank them for working this out. And we can help you too. You can call our volunteer team, email, or a like to let you on our Facebook page and tell me about it right there. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you've got a problem, let me know.